Hi, and welcome to the second round of Common Christian Terms Defined. I'm Marissa with Emmanuel Memorial Episcopal Church, and given that this is Easter season, our first word this time round is apostle. Lots of things changed for Jesus' disciples after he rose from the dead. But the thing I want to focus on today is how they went from being called disciples to being called apostles. For the longest time, I thought that those two words meant the same thing, that apostles and disciples are the people who follow Jesus around. But if you read through Acts, which we do for these 50 days of Easter, you'll notice that the folks who follow Jesus around the first time begin to be called apostles, and not many other people receive that title. So what's going on here? The key, I think, is in the story of St. Paul, who calls himself the last apostle as one untimely born. The text I'm thinking of comes from the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, where Paul is telling the story of what happened after Jesus rose from the dead. He says that first Jesus appeared to Cephas, that is Peter, and then to the 12, and then to 500 or so brothers. And then finally to him, to the last of the apostles. So if we ask how Paul is using that word there, I think we can draw the conclusion that an apostle is someone who has seen the risen Jesus, someone who Jesus has appeared to after his resurrection. Now, the second half of the definition is just as important, and that is that these people to whom Jesus has appeared, uh, they are commissioned by Christ himself to go out and tell the story of Jesus to people who haven't heard it. Uh, so that, in a nutshell, is the definition of apostle. It is one who has seen Jesus, the resurrected Jesus, and who has been commissioned personally to tell his story so that other people can hear the gospel and believe in its promise. Uh, so that is the first definition of our second round of common Christian terms defined. Uh, thanks for joining me today. You'll hear our next word, uh, which I think will be Eucharist. Uh, uh, next week on Thursday, uh, right here. Until then, have a great rest of your week.